hi everyone in this tutorial we will start the coding of our web scraper in streamlit so first of all uh, let's create here a new file okay uh, let's uh, give it a name like web or maybe uh, scrap or scraper.py okay hit enter okay so first of all we need to import our streamlit okay so just right here imp or the import strem streamlit as st okay so it's cool and now i will use the source set of our image inside the image widget of uh, streamlit in order to see whether everything is working fine or not okay so uh, let's uh, extract the source set of uh, this image okay so here is the source set of our this image so just uh, copy this source set okay copy it and uh, first of all i will say st.img image okay and just paste the source set here okay and uh, let's save it and uh, now just close this thing and uh, let's run our application okay so just right here uh, st rem stream let streamlit and now in this case our script is scraper.py okay it's not our man.py okay so we need to write here run uh, s c r a p e r scraper.py okay uh, not sorry scraper.py hit enter and uh, this will open this will open our scraper.py script okay and yeah here is our application and yeah this is our image okay so cool uh, we are extracting a correct source set okay and now with the help of this link uh, i will display my images on our uh, web scraper application okay and now i think that uh, this link is uh, quite long okay so let's convert this link into a smaller link okay so let's do some experiments on this link okay so let me maximize this thing okay okay so first of all this is the demand okay uh, sorry okay okay so this is the domain okay and then this is the photo and everything else what i'm thinking that uh, okay so this is basically our photo number okay and what if i remove all other things from this link okay and then uh, let's see what we will get on our output okay so just remove these line these alphabets okay these things just remove them till this question mark okay and uh, let's save it again okay and now let's uh, rerun the application and see what we will get okay so we got our image again and this means that this part of our link is responsible for the actual image okay and uh, we will extract this part from our source set okay and we will do this process uh, when we will scrap those source set links okay and i will show you how you can extract this part uh, but for now i just remove this line okay so this was just an experiment to see whether everything is working fine or not so first of all uh, in our application we will have a heading okay so just right here sd dot mark markdown okay and uh, i will go with the h1 tags here okay so just right here h1 okay and then i need to close these h1 tags as well okay and i will say unsafe allow html to t are you true okay and now inside this uh, h1 tag i will say like uh, web web scrapr web scraper okay and i will center it okay so just right here you know, style style is equals to and then i will say txt text dash a l i g n align then c e n to your center okay so this will align this text to the center of the screen and now uh, after this uh, heading uh, i will create a form and inside that form i will have two items one will be our text input widget which will ask user to enter the keyword okay and then uh, i will have a submit button as well okay so let's create a form here so just right here w t with okay and then sd.frm form okay and let's give a key to this form and i will say like uh, maybe s e r c at search okay 
and now inside this form i will have two widgets so first i will have the uh, sd.txt text input widget okay which will ask user to enter the keyword and here i will say like serch search okay so search basically represents uh, you need to enter here a keyword okay and uh, i will save the input in the uh, keyword variable so just write here keywr the keyword is equals to this thing okay and uh, then i will have a submit button as well so just write here sd.form form underscore submit button okay and i will say serc at search okay and here i think uh, i should remove this search okay and instead of this search i will write entr enter your maybe your keyword okay k y w r d enter your keyword just remove this z okay let's save it and uh, let's uh, save it and yeah uh, let's uh, check the output on the screen okay so just refresh it and yeah this is our heading web scraper enter your keyword and here the user will enter the keyword and whenever user uh, clicks on this search we will do all other stuff okay so let me make this side by side okay just make it smaller okay so now here first of all uh, I will play with the URL of this unsplash website okay so just open your notepad uh, okay so previously we have saved some data so this is the url okay and uh, this is the part which i will replace with the keyword okay so just uh, copy this little part okay copy it but before i play with the url i need to import my uh, scrapper my beautiful soup okay and i need to import uh, a request library as well so just right here uh, imprt import uh, requests requests okay and then i will say from bs4 okay imprt import biuti beautiful soup as or not maybe as okay so just import uh, beautiful soup as it is okay and now first of all i will send a request to this uh url okay so just copy this part okay copy it and here first of all i will say that uh, uh, sorry uh, i will save the state of this button okay so i will say uh, searc search is equal to this whenever user clicks on the button then i will do my all other stuff okay so i will say if serc search is equals to true so this means that if user clicks on the on the button i need to send a request to my targeted url okay so just write here uh, request requests dot get get okay and then here uh, i will pass a formatted string okay and uh, the reason is that uh, we need to replace this part with our keyword which user will enter here okay so this is our keyword okay and i will replace this part with our keyword okay and i will send a request okay and uh, for now uh, uh, let's print a status code of this request as well okay so just write here page is equals to this okay and then let's write here um, pr int print PAG page dot sdatu st status code so uh, let's check first whether this uh, website is scrappable or not okay so just uh, save it okay and uh, let's uh, rerun this thing again rerun it and here let's uh, write any type of keyword okay so maybe i will search for trws trees okay and just click this button okay and let's wait for our status code and 200 so this means that uh, uh, we are successfully getting information from our this unsplash website okay so it's cool and uh, you have completed your step number one and that was to send a get request to your targeted website okay uh, so after uh, sending the get request i need to get uh, the content of that web page as well okay so uh, i will uh, create a soup of that web page content okay so just right here soup soup is equals to be a uti beautiful soup uh, okay and then i need to pass my content inside this beautiful soup okay and i will say phg page dot c n t n t page dot content okay and uh, this page dot content basically return us the, uh, all the html coding of this web page okay and once we have uh, the patch content now i am able 
to search for particular tags for particular classes and everything else okay so uh, here first of all uh, let me open the notepad again and first of all I will search for the division tag with this class name okay and uh, if you remember this part represents our number of rows okay or if I say our number of uh, columns of the images okay so first of all I will search for division tag with this class name okay so let me write here ROWS rows is equals to uh, SOUP soup dot find all I will use the find all function instead of using the find okay so we will have uh, multiple division tags with the same class name okay so if you use here find then it will extract the first one but if you use find all it will extract all the rows okay so just write here find all okay and then first of all we need to define here the tag name and in this case our tag name is div okay and then we need to define the our class name here as well so class underscore is equals to and then your class name so let me open the notepad again just copy this class name uh, copy it okay and paste it here okay and for now uh, i will just print my number of rows okay or my the length of my rows okay so just right here a uh, print okay alien length okay uh, sorry not length alien length okay and i will say rows rows okay and uh, let's uh, rerun it and see what we will get okay so just uh, right here t r w s trees okay and uh, let's wait so uh we got uh, a six currently we have six rows okay and here you are getting this uh, error as well and the reason is that we need to actually define uh, the parser for this beautiful soup as well okay and in this case i will go with the lxml parser and uh, it's a it's a it's a great parser okay so personally i love lxml okay so just write here l xml lxml okay and i hope that uh, it's enough for this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial we will uh, search for all other tags and divisions and we will extract our information as well and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye